Hello and welcome to the Kubota Image Tools Artistic Tools Volume 2 video tutorial. Let's pop into Photoshop and get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the highlights in the Artistic Tools Volume 2 pack. You'll notice that my dashboard is already open. If yours is not, please go to your File Automate menu and select Kubota Dashboard 2 Palette. Otherwise, you can use the hotkey that was set up for it. Let's open an image. I'm going to go to my dashboard and in the drop down menu I can choose the Artistic V2 to see only the tools that are included in this set. Now the first tool that I'm going to show you is called Radiance Landscape. I'm going to type that in my search feature up here and I see the one I want to use. It's called Radiance Landscape 2. I'm going to highlight that, press apply, and there we go. Just like that. I'm going to undo that so you can see the before and redo and there's my after. To finish off this image I'm going to add a border from my drop down menu, choose border. And please keep in mind this border is from our Production Tools Volume 2 pack. It's already highlighted. I'm going to press apply. Get a nice black border with a white key line, nice and clean. To show you my original, just go to my search field, begin to type in original, show original baseline image. I'm going to press apply here. That's what I started out with, and to get my dashboard out of the way a little, I'm just going to click on that top section. To show you my after, I'm going to do the command or control Z to undo that last step. And there's my after. One more time. Before and after. Beautiful, in just a matter of seconds. Let's click on the top of that dashboard to bring it back into full view. And let's open another image, show you another tool. One of our very popular tools that's included in the Artistic Tools Volume 2 pack is called Lord of the Rings. I'm going to begin to type that in and I get the Lord of the Rings series that's included in this set. I'm going to highlight the Lord of the Rings 2. This one's a little bit more dramatic. Press apply and there we go. You can see the colors are more saturated. There's an overall softness to the image. Beautiful. Now I'm going to use our smokeless burn. If I start typing it in, it appears in my search. This is part of the Artistic Tools Volume 2 pack as well. It's highlighted. Let's just press apply. It's got my brush selected for me already. All I need to do is size it. I'm going to use my bracket key, my right bracket key on the keyboard. And then just begin to paint down. There we go. To finish it off, let's add a border. We'll go to our drop down menu, select border again. And we'll go with our grow border black with white auto. Press apply. And there we go. Nice finished image. Let's show you the original in the search field. Start typing in original. Show original baseline image is highlighted. Apply. And to show you the after, I'm going to press command or control Z to undo the last step. There's my after. And one more time before and after. Gorgeous. Okay, the last tool that I'm going to show you is called a mocha black and white. Let's open a new image for this one. And in my search field, let's type in Mocha. I see it there in the search, highlight it, press apply, and we've got a beautiful black and white. For this one, I want to darken down the edges a little bit and also pop a little bit of light into our eyes. So I'm going to go back to our smokeless burn. Type in smoke, there it is, press apply. Again, my brush is selected for me. I'm just going to size it up using my right bracket key on the keyboard. And I'm going to paint these edges down quite a bit. I really want to bring attention to our beautiful subject in the middle here. There we go. And just to add a little bit of light into those eyes, we can use our digital fill flash, also from the Artistic Tools Volume 2 set. And there it is. Press apply. Just like the smokeless burn, my brush is already selected for me. This time I'm going to downsize it by hitting my left bracket key on the keyboard and just dab a little bit of light into those highs. To finish this one off, let's add our border. Go to the drop down menu and select border. It's already highlighted for us. Just press apply. And there we go. Again, let's go back to the original. Type in O-R-I-G. Show original baseline image. Apply that. There was our before. Command or control Z to undo that last step. There's my after. And once again, my before and my after. Okay, those are some of the highlights of the Artistic Tools Volume 2 pack. Thanks again for joining us for another Kubota Image Tools video tutorial.